Hello my friends, this is Mrs. Avery from Norris Elementary School. I have been thinking about you and I'm hoping that you're all staying safe and having a little bit of fun. Uh, I wanted to read to you a fun uh, little story and uh, some of you might have read this in our library. Uh, it is called Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. And this is a story written by Patty Lovell. All right, let's give it a try. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with who's-its and what's-its of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls and action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. See, there she is plotting what she can do. Coming up with something. So she did just that. What do you think? You like her action figure? I think that looks better than even store bought. What do you think? You think you can find something in the backyard, in your backyard? Some leaves and some twigs? I know you can. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeping out of every crevice. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse. I made one in the backyard. And so she did. Look at that. Isn't that awesome, treehouse? Look at that. P piano, grand piano in included. How'd she get that up there? What do you think? Piano dances, piano recitals. Now, Molly Lou Ratton's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped downhill. So she did just that. Check it out. Look at that race car. That is awesomeness. Look at those colors. Shoo. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And her dog is just sitting, her faithful dog. We're gonna call him Louie. Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall, willowy grass. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a television. I watched the clouds that floated by and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. All right, tell me what you see. What do you see? Do you see a dinosaur? A llama? Tricycle? I think I see Goofy. But you know Mrs. Avery. I see Goofy everywhere. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome their little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, oh, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Darla Deluxe dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace, complete, with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf, air conditioning system, and a cacati jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. Check it out. Ooh, look at that. You see that? Oh my gosh. I mean that that spiral staircase alone is is reason enough to give it a try. On Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery-operated, fully-loaded Coupe de Ville. Look out below! Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurtling down the hill in her turbo box, hand-painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. Look at that race car. Isn't that amazing? I think you want to build one. Would that be awesome? And if you notice, Molly is wearing her helmet and the same with 
with her dog. Safety, safety first, always, my friends, right? Safety first. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Melly, Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone. But then she heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from Molly Lou Mellon? Uh, yes. Gertie spoke into the can. Great. Come on over. Click. Gertie was amazed. Look, look, look. She's got a telescope. And look at that. Who needs cell phones? All you need is a tin can, right? Just saying. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly Lou Mellon if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, not today, thanks. I'm going to watch the clouds. They are sky wide. Gertie was amazed. There's your big screen TV. And look at the sky. What do you see? We've had a lot of clouds lately. Have you looked up to see what you what you can see? Try to do it tomorrow. On Friday, Gertie brought over her homemade doll with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said. And Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. Isn't that awesome? Look how cute that is. Aww. You know, I suspect that they are still neighbors and still the best of friends to this day. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall, willowy grass, looking up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, Curdy giggled, and I see a penguin and a refrigerator. Look at that. It's awesome. I see a big mosquito. Or is it a frog? You know I don't like frogs. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and she grinned her biggest grin. I see a grandma shaped cloud winking at me and Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. Oh, isn't that sweet? The end. Well, I hope you liked our story for today and I will be back. Just know that I'm thinking about you and I'm missing you guys. And I know that we will see each other soon. Okay? You hang in there. Remember to wash your hands. And I will be seeing you soon. Okay? Bye.